In today's video, we feature St. Augustine of Hippo, whose feast day is celebrated every August 28th. His famous important works include The City of God, On Christian Doctrine, and his autobiographical writing, Confessions. The story of his life up until his conversion, is written in his autobiographical, Confessions, the most intimate and well-known glimpse into an individual's soul ever written, as well as a fascinating philosophical, theological, mystical, poetic, and literary work. Augustine was born in the town of Thergast on November 13, 354 to St. Monica, a devout Christian, and Patricius, a Roman pagan who converted to Christianity on his deathbed. And though he was brought up as a Christian, Augustine lived a dissolute life of revelry and sin, and soon after the death of his father, drifted away from the church, thinking that he wasn't necessarily leaving Christ, of whose name he acknowledges. I kept it in the recesses of my heart, and all that presented itself to me without that divine name, though it might be elegant, well written, and even replete with truth, did not altogether carry me away. At the age of eleven, Augustine went to school at Madoris where mastered Latin literature, as well as pagan beliefs and practices. At the age of seventeen, through the generosity of his fellow citizen Romanianus, Augustine went to Carthage to continue his education in rhetoric. In spite of warnings from his mother, Augustine lived a hedonistic lifestyle for a time. While a student in Carthage, he read Cicero's dialogue, Hortensius, which he described as, leaving a lasting impression, enkindling in his heart the love of wisdom and a great thirst for truth. It started his interest in philosophy. Although raised Christian, Augustine became a Manichaean, much to his mother's chagrin. About the same time, Augustine began a relationship with a young woman in Carthage which lasted for over 15 years. The unknown woman gave birth to his son Adiodatus, 372-388, which means gift from God, who was viewed as extremely intelligent by his contemporaries. In 385, Augustine ended his relationship with his lover in order to prepare to marry a teenage heiress. Before he was able to marry her, however, he had decided to become a Christian priest and the marriage did not take place. Augustine taught grammar at Thergast during 373 and 374. He then moved to Rome in 383. Augustine headed north to Milan in late 384 and visited Ambrose, having heard of his reputation as an orator. Soon, their relationship grew, as Augustine wrote, and I began to love him, of course, not at the first as a teacher of the truth, for I had entirely despaired of finding that in thy church, but as a friendly man. Augustine was very much influenced by Ambrose, even more than by his own mother and others he admired. In his Confessions, Augustine states, that man of God received me as a father would, and welcomed my coming as a good bishop should. Augustine re-evaluated himself and was forever changed. Ambrose adopted Augustine as a spiritual son after the death of Augustine's father. Augustine returned to Africa, to his hometown of Tagast, having now cast off from himself the cares of the world, he lived for God with those who accompanied him, in fasting, prayers, and good works, meditating on the law of the Lord by day and by night. On a visit to Hippo, he was proclaimed priest and then became a full bishop against his will, hence the name Augustine of Hippo. He later accepted it as the will of God and spent the rest of his life as the pastor of the North African town, where he spent much time refuting the writings of heretics. Augustine also wrote, The City of God, against the pagans who charged that the fall of the Roman Empire, which was taking place at the hands of the Vandals, was due to the spread of Christianity. On August 28, 430, as Hippo was under siege by the Vandals, Augustine died, at the age of 76. He was canonized and later recognized as a doctor of the church in 1298 by Pope Boniface VIII. Saint Augustine, was a well-known theologian, philosopher, and the Bishop of Hippo Regis in Numidia, Roman North Africa. His writings influenced Western philosophy and Christianity, and he is viewed as one of the most important church fathers of the Latin Church in the patristic period. 
His legacy continues to deeply shape the face of the church to this day. Saint Augustine is considered the patron saint of brewers, printers, theologians, and a number of cities and dioceses. He is invoked against all eyes. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.